Hello and welcome all as we wait for the start of a match amongst the most anticipated fixtures over the course of the entire season. A day certainly not for the faint-hearted, it is yet another edition of this long-standing conflict between two sides engaged in a never-ending rivalry. One that never has and never will lose its intensity no matter what the context, no matter how many times these two clubs meet. The Estadio do Dragao in Porto, distinctive in so many ways by comparison with its Lisbon rivals. There's the whistle, and here we go. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Jorginho. The kind of player that can pass a team to death. At first, a lot of his passes seem a little safe and conservative, but they all serve a, a bigger purpose, slowly shifting the opposition from side to side. Once there is that little bit of space to work in, then the killer instinct usually kicks in, and he's able to deliver that decisive pass. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Caicedo. Has a hit! Great effort, beautifully taken. Ah, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Fofana. Fernandes. Now it's Sancho. Sancho crosses him in low. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Gaston drives it forward. Lobs it in gently, and it's got through. Palmer has a pop! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Palmer sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. He's in! White. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. He's got away. Havertz. White. Oh, good. Has a hit. Goal! Arsenal! Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Arsenal get themselves into the lead. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Cucurella. Pedro Neto plays it forward. 
It is a corner. Shapes to shoot! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. A more than decent attempt, Peter. White, Saliba, Jorginho, Jorginho plays it forward quickly, Fernandes, there's the whistle for half-time, and there we are, off they go for half-time, the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight to this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. So we're just settling back into this second half. Chelsea need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Caicedo floats one over. Get the better of his opposite number. Now it's Saka. White. He could be in here. And the finish! Sticks it away! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now, that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. So that's two now without reply. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Calafiore goes looking. Hoists it forward. Fernandez. Unkunku. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Odegaard. And it's played forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Fernandez. Pedro Neto. Sancho. Free kick in a very dangerous area. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. Now, this is a potential flashpoint, and the referee has his hands full. That was travelling. Was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution. 
Lovely bit of skill. Now it's Havertz. Ball through needs to be good here. Trossard tore at them and just came up short. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. Pedro Neto. Good challenge, he just stood firm. White at his creative best, he set up two goals. Castro. Caicedo. Castro. And time is up. Chelsea beaten here. They might well feel aggrieved, but the result is everything. The end of the game. Reflections? Yeah, and we know that Derby...